Level 105 is a massive factory enshrouded in a thick layer of fog surrounded by a grassy field. The level is in a state of perpetual night, with the moon in the sky at all times. Furthermore, a slight drizzle constantly occurs throughout the entire level, and is moderately windy, making the level extremely cold. Inside of the factory are numerous machines such as conveyor belts, crushers, furnaces and molds, though so far none of them are operational. A factory canteen and an employee break room are also present, which will be explained in detail below. This level is roughly 5 kilometers by 7 kilometers, with the edges of this level simply dropping off into what seems to simply be a void. Additionally, there are several glass chambers, in which contain the same fog, compacted so tightly that one is unable to view the interior of the chambers. These chambers have a long tube running from them to nearby smokestacks. Although there are no entities on this level, numerous MEG agents have gone missing while exploring the level. So far, only one of the four MEG agents is back to the level have returned. Strangely, no records on the missing MEG agents can be found, as though all mentions of them have been erased, save for an audio file which has not disappeared, and will be provided below. Additionally, the agent that returned safely claims that for half of their expedition, the fog was absent from the level, meaning it may only be present at certain intervals. Do this, traversing this level for prolonged periods is difficult and not recommended, as the intervals which the fog comes and goes is unknown, the factory canteen is a roughly 100 m by 50 m room with benches and tables spread equally apart throughout the entire room, and a serving counter with dishes for containing food items at the back. There is also a kitchen behind the serving counter, containing items such as stoves, ovens, pot and pans, though none of the stoves or ovens are operational. There is a small cooler in one corner of the canteen which contains a stash of almond water and restocks at unknown intervals. The employee break room is a small, 10m by 10m space furnished with a red carpet, coffee table, and a blue couch. There is a mini fridge which contains a few bottles of water that do not restock, so use sparingly. Interestingly enough, the fog seems to not be able to enter the break room, as if there is some invisible force keeping it out. So far, this is the only safe section of the level. It is located in the section of the building near the parking lot and has a sign next to the door to inform people where it is outside of the factory. There are cages roughly 3 meters tall and seem to comfortably fit 5 people in them. The cages have metal bars, and all of cages have metal bars on one side either bent out of place or ripped apart, as though something had escaped from them. Plaques on each cage can also be seen, all of which state that the cage was containing a subject of some kind, though it is unknown what they were audio log command, I have reached the level. So far, I can't really see anything above roughly 12 meters above me due to the fog, but it seems like there's some sort of building in front of me. I'm heading in now. HQ, copy that, be careful. The last agent we dispatched didn't return, so there is a suspected entity presence, hence why we set up a walkie-talkie line command, I've entered the building. It seems to be a factory of some sort, there are machines all over the place. The fog is in here as well. God, there's a lot of fog. It's so damn cold, too. HQ, focus, agent. Can you see anything else, besides the machines? No, I don't see anything else. I'll investigate more and get back to you. Roughly an hour passes, command? This is Cecilia. I've deduced the level is roughly 5 clicks by 7 clicks long, and the level just ends. It just drops into the void. I'm in another part of the factory. I think this level is just one huge factory on a grassy field. There's a parking lot outside. HQ, roger that, agent. Can you find anything else? The fog is getting denser the longer I stay here. I found the factory canteen in the employee break room, but nothing of note so far. Wait, I see something on the ground. HQ, can you get closer to it, agent? Yeah, it's a piece of paper. Let me read it out for you. If you're reading this, get out now. The fog isn't what it seems. It's not me. It's already eaten Jake in. God, I forgot his name. Why can't I remember his name? Whatever, just get out fast, from whatever exit has been found. Silence, HQ, agent? Cecilia Pines, command, that's not win. God, I. I can hear Odysseus. He's screaming my name, begging me to run. HQ, get out of there, agent. Hello? Agent? 
Cecilia Pines, the fog is coming. Only wind and rain can be heard for over three hours before communication is cut from Cecilia Pines' end. So far, no entities have been spotted, but it is theorized that the fog on this level may be an entity itself, though there are no possible answers as to why all memory of a person is erased when they are consumed by the fog. Furthermore, human faces have been spotted in the fog, though this is unconfirmed, due to the nature of this level, no bases can be established here, entrances, entering any building in level 11 has a chance to bring wanderers here. No flipping into the ground on any foggy level will bring wanderers here. Sleeping next to the road on level 484 will have wanderers awaken here. Exits, so far, only one exit has been found, which is to walk into the factory canteen, then into any of the cages, and finally into the employee break room to be sent to level 311. As the nature of this level is not initially apparent, it is unknown just how many people have been trapped by the fog. If any wanderer has information on more exits, please do step forward to MEG authorities as this information has the ability to save lives.